Okay, now let's add some security to our endpoint. So here I'm going to create a new middleware so that every time that I receive a new notification here on my endpoint, I'm going to validate some header with an API key. So here I'm going to create a new middleware. This is app use. And here I'm going to create a new function that is going to handle this validation. So this is func. This is going to receive the context from Fiverr. So this is fiber.ctx. Here we need to declare the error. And here I'm going to add the body of this function. Okay, first I'm going to read the API key that I receive in the request. So this is, let's say API key equals to C or context.get. And I'm going to send this in the header. So the name of the header will be API key in uppercase. So now I'm going to validate that that API key is equals to some value that I'm going to assign. So let's create a constant here and let's call this constant secret key. And let's assign some value. Let's say my secret. So I'm going to compare this value with this constant. And if they are equal, I'm going to allow the request. So this is if secret key, this is actually like this. If secret key is equals to the value that I received, this is API key, then I'm going to allow the request. So this is return C dot next. In any other case, I'm going to return a 401. So this is return C dot send status. And this is fiber dot status unauthorized. Like this. And here I'm going to also log a message. Log dot. And this will be unauthorized request. Like this. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the middleware. So now let's run this and let's see if it works as we expect. Okay, so this is go run main.go. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's make a request. So first I'm going to send an event without any authentication headers, without the API key that is expected by the application. I'm going to submit this. And I'm going to get a 401 unauthorized. If we go to the application, yes, we're going to log that message here within the middleware. Now I'm going to send this header, this API key header with this value. And let's see if we are able to process that event. Let's go back. So I'm going here to headers and I'm going to add the header here. This is API key. The value is my secret. Okay, now let's run this. And now, yes, now it's going to process that event. And if I send a wrong value here, again, I'm going to get a 401 unauthorized, as we can see here as well. And now if we call this endpoint from Strapi, we click here on trigger. Again, we receive a 401 unauthorized, as we can see here. And if we take a look at the console here, again, here we can see the message that we log in the middleware. Okay, now let's go to Strapi and let's set up the API key so that every time that a webhook is called, it's going to send the API key along with the event payload. Okay, in order to set up the webhook API key header in Strapi, we need to go to config server.js and we need to add a new entry here. So this entry is webhooks. And here we need to add a new attribute that is default headers. And here we can add the name of the header and the value of the header. API key and the value that is my secret. I'm going to save this and I'm going to restart Strapi. 
one start. Okay, and now let's go to Strapi and let's try to call the webhook again. Okay, now I'm going to click here on trigger and now we are able to call our webhook. And if we go to the Fiverr application, as we can see here, we receive this event trigger test that we submitted from the Strapi CMS. And now if we go to bands and we create a new band, let's say the Ramones, this is punk, www.theramones.com as the website. I'm going to click on save. And if we go back to the Fiverr application, we're going to receive the entry.create event, as we can see here. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.